Hi, it's Jeffrey. It's red color. Um, I hate computers. I just wanted to say that right up front. Okay. Um, this is the reading for cancer for the week of uh, August 29th through September 4th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, notifications. I'm having a lot of computer issues today. It's hot. All right. Um, I offer one on one readings. I offer IET, which is a healing modality. I have a lovely line of uh, t shirts, astrology t shirts, one of a kind t shirts, scarves, et cetera, all on my website. All the information is below, ripecolor.com. Okay, that was my marketing. And now it's, let's get to the reading. Thank God for air conditioning. That's all I have to say. Thank God for air conditioning. Okay. Okay, Cancer, let's see what's going on for you. One, two, three. Okay, I, okay. Lots of new ideas about how you can work more efficiently. New ideas about how you can be more uh, detail oriented, more, you know, he's, this is an interesting card because it's both the apprentice and the master. So I feel like with all this new energy and these new ideas and, and new inklings of ideas coming through, new passion, um, you're like in the process of really becoming more of a master, really in the process of becoming, you know, and there's gonna be some juggling involved, okay. But I mean, the good thing about this guy is that he always manages to keep the, um, in my estimation, um, he always manages to keep them both afloat. Yeah, you might have to give something up in order to work more efficiently. You know, maybe there's some sort of um, tool you're using or have used that doesn't really uh, serve you anymore. It did in the past, and you could pick it up again at another moment. But right now, it's really about looking for something new and also asking for help also asking for help. So there might be other people that you're involved with or, or have yet to be involved with that can really, um, you know, help you along your journey, help you to become more of a master. That are, you know, it's a balanced thing. It's, this is really um, about the duality, right? It's about the duality. And at the end of the day, it is your choice, but I feel like if you involve more people, and you involve more of a community, it'll, it'll give you more um, strength and more um, focus. Maybe young people, young people. Yep, it's the beginning of a new journey. So in order to become this, you know, you're, you're already this, but in order to become less of a, apprentice and more of a master you know you have choices and um you know this might involve young people or new ideas because you need to walk away not to, it's not walk away and like never use it again it's like i need to put that on the side for the moment and go search for a new way of doing things that probably involves other people and asking for help um, in order to move forward, in order to move forward, in order to have like a new, um, it's not necessarily a young person, it's like a fresh idea in order to um, kind of be reborn in a way, be more, um, see it with a different eye, see it with a, a, a fuller, uh, expression of spirit. Let me throw one more. Yep, you got the same card as uh, Scorpio. Got this card too. This is really about letting spirit guide you. About letting spirit guiding. Like uh, really, I, I think the lesson here is like understanding you don't have all the answers, and inviting new ideas and new people and new uh, community 
to like help you out. Yep, definitely. And you know, when you're involved with other people, it's like, we all know what we can do and what we can rely on doing. But then when you involve other people, you know, it is a little bit of a mysterious path. <laughs> but I think it's essential. I think it's essential to like really ask for help, you know, and invite new ideas in that you hadn't thought of before, maybe ideas that different people have. And it's, uh, there might be a certain naivete, uh, naivete to those ideas, but I think that they'll actually work. It's like, you need some fresh blood. You need some fresh blood. So that's my take for you for the week. Um, obviously, the, the, you know, there are my, you're my eighth sign this week and I do different every week. And um, there's a lot of new energy coming through, a lot of new, um, I don't know, community, fresh ideas. I think because it's the beginning of Virgo season, you know, it's like fall is coming, September is coming. I feel like there's a lot of new, um, ideas and um, influence and um, messages really coming from unexpected sources, from unexpected sources. That's interesting. I think that's true for everyone, actually. Anyway, that is my take for you for the week. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I told you all the marketing stuff. It's all below. <laughs> Blessings. <laughs>